All right, welcome back. Now, in this interesting project, we're going to see how we can classify fruit and then vegetables. Okay, so we have a um, couple of um, data set over here. In fact, we have um, quite a lot. We have around 3,864 images, right, of uh, 36 different fruits and then vegetables. Okay, so we're going to see how we can use um, deep learning to classify these different um, these different fruit and vegetables into their respective categories. Okay, so for instance, if we provide our deep learning with, say, a um, banana, our deep learning should be able to identify that this is a banana. Okay, if we provide it with, say, um, chili pepper, our deep learning model is supposed to be able to identify it as chili pepper. Okay, so it's quite an interesting project over here. And in this particular project, we're going to create it in Kaggle. Okay, I'm going to show you how you can create your own project right from the scratch in Kaggle. So if you want to go for Kaggle competitions, you should know how to create um, projects over there. Okay, I mean how to create your notebooks and then um, do your analysis over there, right? And or build your machine learning projects over there, right? So that's what we're going to do in this interesting project. And uh, as you can see, we have quite a lot of um, data set over here. If I should open it for you, you can see that we have quite a lot of categories in there, right? That is for fruit. Um, for some for training, some for testing, validation, and so on and so forth. All right. So we're going to go through step by step how to do all that, all your data pre-processing, how to uh, analyze the images and uh, all the various fruit and vegetables in there, how to actually work with them. Right. We're going to actually um, do quite a lot of them, and then uh, how to check, how to use your ROC and ASUKF to see the performance of your model and all that okay so we're going to actually do quite a lot of things over here right i mean normalized confusion metrics in there right and also um we're going to see how we'll be able to predict it for instance this one um the true value right the image is potato right and then we're able to predict that this is potato right the true value here was soya beans we're able to predict that is soya beans right this is corn and we're able to predict uh we predicted that is sweet corn so you can see that there was some kind of um discrepancies over here right which i'll show you how to create that and then uh, we have um cucumber over here we're able to predict as cucumber and then we have watermelon right we're able to predict as watermelon right we have paprika we're able to predict it right and i mean quite a lot right and not only that and the interesting part is that even where the um the deep learning model is actually looking i'm actually going to show you how you can do that okay so if you can see this is a heat map okay showing you where exactly your deep learning model is actually looking so for instance this one it was looking somewhere here to identify that this is a corn okay if you see that the heat map is actually um the place that is your model is looking is somewhere here right and it's predicting it wrongly then you know that okay it's because um the model was looking at the wrong place that's why it was predicting it wrongly okay then you need to go back and then tweak the model right whether you have to crop some part out or you have to rotate the image or something like that right we have something we called um image data generator which i'm sure you have um, used it in your previous um tutorials okay image gen um, data generator which you can come and then tweak say the rotation or the um, the zoom range or all that right you can just um, do it you see that we have we even have a horizontal flip so i mean you can just track the images so that your model will look at the right place and predict it rightly so this is quite an interesting we're even going to load strange images i mean different images which are not even in the validation or the test data we just download it from google and then we use it we feed it to our model to identify it right and i'm going to show you how to do all that okay now this is not all once we are done with this i'm also going to show you how you can deploy it okay so if you come here uh, this is the app that we're going to build right we are using streamlet over here okay so here um the only thing that you have to do is to just upload images over here right so these are images that i downloaded from google straight away right this one is not even part of the data set okay if you come here this is where this is the last one that i downloaded which is the cabbage okay there's the image that you see so i mean you can just download any images from i mean fruit and vegetables that's what we have trained our model on okay so fruit and vegetable if i should go back over here right this is um let me go back again go back again and then go back again you see that i downloaded this chili pepper right and that's what you see over here so i just straight away downloaded them from google like that and they are not part of the data set at all but even if uh, with that that our model has not seen before if we upload it right so i'm going to upload um this one over here right so 
with our own eyes when it's loaded right this one we know that is mango but so you can see that our model is also predicting that it's a fruit and it's mango and it's predicting the calories that are in the mango for us okay that's very very interesting over here right very very interesting project that we're gonna do all right if i change this one here right so let's let's say we're gonna take something like this right say pineapple and see if it will be able to identify it as pineapple right okay so now see that it's, it's fruit and it's pineapple and the calories that are there it's able to identify it okay let's let's try a different one over here right so um this one let's use this one over here all right so let's upload it and see okay so this is a lemon right so now you see that it's saying that it's fruit lemon and the number of cut um calories in there is predicting right so let's change this one to let's say uh, let's let's first use potato and see right so i mean we can identify but we want the machine to also be able to identify and i'll see that it's able to do it right it's vegetable is potato and it's 77 calories right and uh let's go to cabbage and see right you see that's correctly predicting that this is um, and even this one i run it for just five epochs right so imagine if you have time to run it for about 50 epochs it's going to be very very much accurate right? it's going to be very very much accurate over there all right it can make some small mistakes over there because i did not run it for much but even with that it's still able to do it now you see that it's able to um still do it chili pepper 40 um calories in there right so i mean it's quite it's quite incredible it's quite incredible so you can um we can we can build upon this one and make it quite a robust I mean application okay very robust application right vegetable tomato and then 18 calories all right so this is what we're gonna do by the end of um, this project okay and I'm sure you're going to um, love it all right so let's get started